And we have more breaking news to tell you about this afternoon. It's going to take up to a month longer than first planned to get gas back on to all the customers in the Merrimack Valley following last month's explosions and fires. Officials now say heat and hot water will not be returned to all homes until December 16th. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Lawrence with the very latest there. Beth. Well, it was a pretty contrite Columbia Gas acknowledging that the November 19th deadline for gas restoration will not be met for all customers, given the challenges of the project and the scope of the project. We are on a street here in Lawrence where some of that gas pipeline is being replaced, and Columbia Gas is now saying all 45 miles will be replaced by next week. The problem is relighting all the customers house to house. So Columbia Gas is employing what it's calling a rapid relight strategy, making temporary repairs to boilers in houses that are gas ready to get the heat and hot water going. Then coming back after the winter to replace those appliances as they have pledged. And to do this, they are tripling the personnel to get the work done. Project manager Joe Albanese talks about the new deadline. We are today informing impacted residents that they will that we will complete gas restoration in all of their homes and businesses between the dates of December 2nd and December 16th. Most will have heat and hot water before then. As of today, since September 13, we are still in a disaster area, a disaster zone. And for a lot of people's lives, it's meant changing the way they live, uh, changing the way they take their kids to school and the way they take uh, care of their parents in a fundamental way. Now, of the 8,400 affected meters, 1,040 have been relit. Homes still not connected after November 19th, Columbia Gas says will represent less than 30% of the total meters. If you are one of those customers after November 19th, Columbia Gas says they will contact you personally to help you with temporary housing if that's necessary. Some residents have complaining that the housing is just inconvenient, but the message today from Lawrence Mayor Dan Rivera was take that housing, and if you're having trouble getting there, we will get you there. Also this weekend, they're planning community meetings in all three affected communities. They're hoping residents with concerns will turn out. But today, a new deadline that they are pledging to meet. Reporting live from Lawrence, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.